Augustus declares that there will be a census. Everyone will be counted and must return to their native towns. Let this be known to everyone. Mary, I know you are heavy with child, but we must go to Bethlehem for census. Yes, Joseph. I think I can travel and I know that the Lord will be with us in this journey. Joseph and Mary pack up and start their journey. They walk over to the first innkeeper and knock at the doors. Yes, I am coming. Hold on. We have been travelling for a longer time. Do you have any room for us? I am sorry, but there is no more room here. Please try next door. Joseph and Mary walk over to the next innkeeper and knock at the door. I am sorry. If you are looking for a place to stay here, we are completely closed. Please try next door. Joseph and Mary walk to the next innkeeper and they barely got to the door when the third innkeeper comes out. Unbelievable! This place is almost wall to wall with people. I don't think if you will find any room available in this town, but you should not be traveling anymore this late in the evening. If you don't mind, you can get some rest in my stable out back. It isn't the most comfortable place, but there will be a roof over your head and the animals are wonderful. They will not bother you. My wife should need some rest. The stable will be fine. Okay, well then, follow me. Joseph helps Mary sit down on the floor and then begins to prepare a bed for them. Mary, I know God is with us. It is much better to sleep here than outside. Joseph, I don't feel very well. I'm really tired and I'm having this pain. I think it's time for baby to be born. Please Mary, lie down. We don't live longer now. Meanwhile, some shepherds were tending their folks at night when suddenly an angel appears right before them. Behold, I bring good news of a great joy. For today, in the city of David, there is born for you a Savior who is Christ, the Lord. And this will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in manger. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace among men with whom he is pleased. Let's go to Bethlehem and see what Lord has told us about. Let's tell our friends and we all go. Rest to God for this good news. Come on, it's a new journey. And so the shepherds, after hearing the angels, went to visit the baby. Sometime later, three Maggie saw a bright star in the sky. Look, dear yeah, star, look how bright it is. It is the sign, the wonderful sign, the king of gifts is born. Let us go and worship him. Gifts, we need gifts. I will give him gold. My gift will be special. It will be a mine. Frankincense will be my gift. Let us put them in the special boxes because he is king. The three Maggie place each their gift into a treasure box. The Maggie walk over the stable while looking at the star. And so the Maggie found their king by following the star. When they arrived, they bow down and worshipped the king and offered their gifts to him. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace among men. Thank you.